Oh, uh, this is gonna be the most popular Halloween costume. If this is what he does to make money, I want to be Kanye West. You know, all day they couldn't say the shit they wanted to say. They had the fake orgasms and shit. What is this? Today, hey, I want to what is this? We can tell today, hey, I'm Kanye and Lil Pump. There we go, baby. Oh. I hate how much I like this song. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. <gasps> I've seen this all over Twitter, but I haven't seen it. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Your boyfriend is a door. Make love it. What the it's a catchy song. I think their outfits are fantastic. I don't understand what this costume is. They look like. What's the time? Oh, yeah. What is the video game Roblox? I'm very confused. I'm like listening to the words, trying to get a storyline, and it's nothing. You're such a hoe. I love it. I I don't know what is going on. When the first time but you know what? I dig it. I feel like Kanye is on to something. Like, which is why I don't hate the song. I'm a sick I like a quick whoop. I'm a sick Oh, Kanye. I like my suck. I buy you a sick truck. I buy you some new dicks. I get you that. Oh, my God. How you start a family to kind of slip up. See, it's like I don't want to like it, but it's catchy. I like that host. I want to hear most. Kanye say dumb shit all the time but when he says dumb shit in music it's just fire you trifling how bitch bitch such a what's kanye doing i love it you're such a fucking hoe i love it you not all day oh they're tiny or she's huge they had the fake orgasms and shit we got scolded hey i want a mother okay never seen that before i love it I'm a hoe for this. I love it. I love the song itself and the beat. The lyrics, though, a little scandy. Uh, I'm yeah. trying to look at it as being sex positive. So it was a music video for I Love It by Kanye West and Lil Pump. Was oh, that Lil Pump? As soon as the video released, there was a viral frenzy online of people making various memes and remixes of that music video. And so we've got a few of those to show you now. OK, I think I'll like this better than like the actual music video. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, dude. The remake in Roblox, bro. They do look like Roblox. <laughs> but like, who has the time to do this? I like people that spend so many hours on such stupid jokes. Kanye and Lil Pump on the set for I Love Babies. <laughs> this is like joke from my generation. Like we all know Doug. I haven't thought about that show in like at least 10 years. I can't believe Tom Brady was in the new Kanye West Lil Pump music video. He's wearing a coat over his football pads, makes him look square. That's a good one. The second that music video dropped, everyone was immediately jumping on the memes. They did a good job because Kanye even retweeted some of these memes. I'm not gonna try to guess the video game because I don't want to embarrass myself. Because they're Minecraft blocks. This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was completely thinking of Minecraft. If you come up with a concept like that, you can't be surprised there's gonna be some type of meme that pops up. Like a quick <laughs> Oh! Whoa, it fits! Okay, I actually like that song. Boop doody whoop scoop. Boop. This is so dumb. But it's something so simple but so good. Scoop poop. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Whoop diddy scoop poop, Kanye 2018. There we go. Kanye retweeted it. Gotta do the Roblox version. Oh, Kanye tweeted it. Okay. I think he yeah, he probably knew what he was doing, definitely. It's genius. Uh, he they're just getting free marketing out of it, right? So he's just taking advantage of it and talking more about the music video. Memes are nice, though, because one, they give us all something to relate to because we've all seen this music video. So we all understand the jokes. We all like to be in on the jokes. So the same day this music video is released, users began posting their own videos of themselves participating in something like this uh, using the hashtag I love it challenge. All of the unnecessary challenges. So we have some of those videos to show you next. Interesting. I'm going to get some Halloween inspo. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, how are they gonna look like him? But that's accurate. Oh, uh, this is gonna be the most popular Halloween costume. I did see this on Twitter. People are now putting boxes on themselves and doing the same. Sh 
Kanye West is so strategic in everything that he does. He strategically makes things to be outrageous and for people to just talk about for days and weeks. No, no, no. <laughs> Cardboard box. I want to do that. I want to wear a box now. This is my favorite one so far. That's lazy. That's lazy. You just gonna wear the box. You're not gonna put like a hoodie on it or nothing. I like how like sh these are too. Like it's just a cardboard box. These challenges just keep getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> Stupid. And this in particular is definitely not a challenge, but they're having fun. I'm a sick I would be laughing. Like if these are my friends, I'd be pissing my pants laughing. I can't imagine being the person filming this video because I wouldn't be able to. I'd be dying of laughter. <laughs> Look how happy he is under that jacket. The guy in the silver is definitely committing more to it. I'll give him that. People can get really creative with these things. This is exactly though what I would like to see on like Snapchat and Insta stories from people. The shoes look almost exactly similar. Now we're talking. There we go. A little more effort. Okay. That's accurate. See, that's a great rendition. <laughs> Yeah. Why is this a thing? I don't get it. Drink a sparkling water before you came out here. Yeah, this is a a challenge that'll die really fast. You're wearing a box, playing a song, and then moving. That takes literally no effort. Oh, squad pull up. That's the best. Hey, hey. All right, they're putting their own little spin on it. I like it. Oh god. Okay, they put in choreography for this. I appreciate it a little bit more. This is giving me my friends next time we pull up to a party. Just ready to go. I'll give them brownie points for their choreography, but just cutting holes in a box is not enough for me. The pictures and shit were enough. The roast was enough. And now we're out here putting goddamn boxes on and dancing. And it's just like, man, it's just boring. It's just kind of like predictable. So now that you've gotten a taste of the challenge, we want you to take on the challenge. Oh my God. You have a fucking box for me somewhere here, huh? All right, bring it, come on. So in order to do that, we brought in some special wardrobe for you to put it on. <laughs> you ready to do this? Cardboard boxes, all right. Where is it? It's right there. No, that big box? Oh, I love oh my God, this is actually harder than I expected. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I hate this. This is what he was doing, right? Kind of. I love it. I feel like I'm literally as red as the recording light right now. Your boyfriend is this is a really simple challenge. Make love <laughs> I'm gonna go into a club wearing this, just like, ladies, I love it. And then I'm gonna get kicked out. If this is what he does to make money, I wanna be Kanye West. I'm a sick I like the quick I like my suck. I buy you a sick That's all I know! <laughs> I'm sorry, mom! So, both the track and the music video premiered at the Pornhub Awards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Where Kanye served as creative director of the award show. That is f***ing hilarious. And he designed every presenter's outfit, and he designed the winning statues, as well as premiering the song live at the prestigious event. Wow! That is so interesting. But after listening to this song, why do you think that they decided to premiere the track in the music video at the Pornhub Awards of all places? I mean, the, the lyrics do give a little bit of a... Sexy vibe, I guess. I feel like for sure from the both of them, this was just a joke. Yeah, we kind of f***ed around and made the song, so yeah, we'll play it at the Pornhub Awards. It's genius cross-promotion from like a mental standpoint because it's very sex positive and it's all about that. And then if you're doing it at the award show for an industry that's all about sex, it goes together. So critically acclaimed director Spike Jones actually produced the video. That I didn't know. Sharing early sketches of his treatments to reporters. But the video also features comedian Adele Givens, who recites her line from 2008 deaf comedy jam stand-up as she towers over the small rappers. This leads some to believe that even though West and Pump walk, talk and dress big, but when they're facing a woman, they're just little guys. I kind of was, was getting that when the, she's just staring down at them. If that's the message we're supposed to be getting from this, bingo. But I feel like the attention is really supposed to still be on like Kanye West and Lil Pump. After listening to the song and seeing the music video, what do you think was the message that both artists were trying to get across with this music video? Yeah, even if the message was like, oh, men try to really impress women by like puffing up their chest, but really they're these smaller guys. The message is completely missed there. I think people are really just looking at it objectively as they're these weird Roblox characters and they're singing these really shitty lyrics. Guys, we're just talking big, 
but in reality, they're much smaller than women. Even whenever they're calling her like, or like her like women, whatever, a fucking hoe, but she's not really, and she just wants to achieve orgasm just as much as everyone else does. Having a woman in the video stating her side of things and, and um, you know, what she feels about sex positivity kind of balanced it out. So I definitely like that they included her, and I think that could have been the message in this. So finally, like you saw earlier, the music video immediately started generating both memes and challenges online. Oh yeah, dude, like 60 million views in five days. Yeah, it has a lot of attention on it. This is kind of the second rap song in recent memory to do this, like Drake's in my feelings. And, and yeah, Hotline Bling became a huge meme. Why do you think that all these memes and challenges are suddenly coming from hip hop and rap music videos specifically? Um, I feel like it's probably because it's very like dancey. The vibe of the songs like Hotline Bling and In My Feelings, like it's just a dancey song and I don't really feel like people are necessarily reading into the lyrics. A lot of hip hop tends to set them, uh, set the, they purposely set their music up like that. I remember it being similar, that kind of way when I was a kid, there was always the popular dance. I mean, I remember in elementary school for a while, it was the soldier boy dance. Because internet. <laughs> I mean, it, it, they're just asking to be memefied. I guarantee you there was somebody in that office when they were coming up with like the artistic decor and they were like, Let's do something that people are gonna make a meme out of because it's gonna extra blow up. And whoever that was probably got a raise. Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React and shout out to Brian White. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Shout out to Sydney Higgins. Let us know in the comments what music video we should react to next. Bye guys. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of College Kids React. And if you wanna see the reactors doing more crazy stuff like this, challenges, gaming, so much more, you gotta to subscribe to the React channel. Click the link right over there. Bye guys.